Hello, this is the first Abbott's Home Staff Training video I've done. I'm trying to do it all in one take, so please excuse all the mistakes and nonsense that you might see here. This is a quick demo of Apple Classroom, which should have been set up for most of your classes now. To open Apple Classroom, it should already automatically be on your iPads, but swipe down, bring up and search for Classroom there. I'm just going to go back to my classes. What you should see is something like this, which has got all of your classes here. Please email me and let me know if any of those classes don't work. I'm just going to do a quick demo with the prep school iPads here. Now what we've got is I've got a lot of those iPads in my room at the moment. First thing to remember about Apple Classroom is that the iPads themselves need to be within Bluetooth range of you and have Bluetooth turned off. If you can't see them, that will be the main reason. They're either not in your room or they haven't got Bluetooth on. So if you can see them in your room with... Um, their iPads with them, just go and ask them to turn on Bluetooth. Now, as you can see, uh, you've got a number of different things here. Most of them they say display off, but our iPad 17, iPad 18, uh, iPad 15, and another one there, iPad 6, they've all got display off. They all say home screen. So it tells you at a glance what apps people are going on to. If I suddenly go on to Safari, you see that iPad 6 is now on Safari, and now we've got iPad 15 on Safari as well. Now, what you can do is you can have a look and see what the screens actually look like. So if I click on iPad 6, it brings up this option here. Now, if I click to view screen, I can see exactly what they're looking at. If they then click and go to their home page, you'll then see that they've gone to their home page. Okay, so uh, that's a quick glimpse. And up in the top right corner, hit done. Okay, and what we're going to do is click anywhere on the screen to get rid of this button. So now I can see that everyone's on their home screen. That's the first thing that you can do is keep an eye on what people are doing. What I like as well is when you put that screen up, I'll show you how to do it again. So I'm going to go click on iPad 15 and they've done a great piece of work. So I'm going to put view screen and now I can show everyone in the class what piece of work that they've done. And I click done to get rid of that. If you notice that someone went onto a game maybe that they shouldn't be playing, so I'm just seeing if anyone, okay. So now we're gonna go on to Happy Wheels. Okay, iPad 15, it's very noisy as well. iPad 15, being a little bit naughty, going onto a game. I might, cl I might immediately tell them that they shouldn't be doing that, or I might just lock their screen for a second. And that's lock their iPad, and until I now unlock their iPad, which I can do by hitting that, and going to unlock top right that has now unlocked their iPad you can use that just to get people's attention you can lock everyone in the classes iPad as well so while you're on this page if you hit just below where it says prep iPad near the top the padlock screen hit lock and that will lock everyone's iPad in the class then you've got everyone's attention talk to them and now I'm just gonna hit done and when I'm ready for them to use their iPads again, I'm going to hit unlock at the top and it will unlock every iPad. So you can do that for a whole class or on an individual basis as well. Now what we're going to do, I'm just going to bring that one back to the home screen. Sorry about the silence here. Next time I promise I'll edit this. Anyway, um, other things you can do, you can now open apps on people's pages. So if I decide that I want everyone to have their pages open, for example, I can do that. And I'll just show you again. I went to open in the top left and I click on pages. And what that's done is that has opened up pages on everyone's iPad. Some of these iPads are currently locked at the um, closed at the minute so it won't work but on the four ipads i've got in front of me it's opened up pages on all of those i'm just going to cancel that now what you can do is if you want them to stay in a particular app um down near the bottom here we've got lock in after open if i switch that across and then open up safari what that will do is open up safari on those ipads and they won't be able to go anywhere else even if they hit the home button so that's one way of doing that you will then need to remember to unlock all of your iPads if you have done that. And I'm just gonna go here and unlock all those iPads. Something else you can do, you can navigate them to a certain web page. If there's a web page that you'd like to share with them, instead of having to get them to go onto Firefly to click on it or uh, go to a certain web page, just go to navigate and then you can go to Safari. And as long as you have set that as a favorite on your own Safari account, you can then I'm just going to, where's the one I want to send? There you go, photos for class. Once I hit that, 
that now opens up that web page on every single one of those iPads. Um, and while we're here, quick reminder, this is how you set a bookmark on Safari. So I'm going to open Safari. Okay, and I'm going to, let's just search, learn how to make videos on Vimeo here. Okay, and this is just what I need, the internet's failing. I'm gonna show you how to do it anyway. What you do is you need to hit share, which is the little triangle arrow, there you go, and then we're gonna add bookmark. And then we're going to save to do that. And once that's there, if we go back to classroom, and I go navigate, safari, favorites, should now see that at the bottom, the one that's called Can I Open Page. Send that through and that will navigate to everyone's iPad as well. The last thing you can do on here, I'm just going to, is you can set groups. So what I can do, if I want to group some people together, I can name this group. It might be um, that some people are doing a particular task. So task one. And what I'm now going to do is add people and add them to that group. So 7, 15, 6, 18, and 17. I'm going to hit done in the top right corner. Once I've done that, I can now look at everyone's iPads, or I can go over to the students doing task one and check that they're all doing their task. That will stay for your class until you decide to get rid of it. And to get rid of it, you go to edit group. And we can just delete that. Cancel. If you're on hold on the group, remove and that gets rid of that group, okay? And that's pretty much the basics of Apple Classroom. If I hit my classes in the top left, it will take me back to my list of classes where I can go into a new class that I'm about to start. Any questions, please email me. Thank you.